Uh, All right. We are live. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah what's going on, guys? Yay. I can't so, be too loud. No. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So we have Mr. Cincy Nerd. What's we up, have man? Mr. Slapshot Toys. And we have Mr. Josh Pitts in the house tonight. What's going Hello. on, fellas? What's up, fellas? Oh, that's that's a vibe. Can anyone see the chat? Because I'm not looking at the chat right now. I'm just looking at you guys. Uh, um, I, yes. Okay, cool. I think, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can now. There's okay, so I see some comments. There you go. I um I was just live on my channel and I, I promoted this one. So I see a lot of the same people that were on that um that live stream here. So what were y'all talking about again? I, on my screen? recap. Yeah. Oh, to recap, I was talking about how excited I am for Mezco GI Joe figures. Um, that that picture, you know how people say that uh, things break the internet. Well, that picture yeah. of Destro that you sent me this afternoon broke me. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I thought it was fake. I was like, "There's no way this is happening!" Like, holy crap. Yeah. But uh, so is it just coming with the like two or three accessories, or we don't know. Uh, we don't know yet. I, ju I just know the fact that it's coming with two different heads. So it's got a laughing head, which looks amazing. And then it's got um, the non-laughing head. But what I was uh, saying in the stream is that Mezco has a real huge opportunity now because a lot of people don't have um, – they can't get their hands on G.I. Joe Classified because they sell out so fast and they're scarce. Yep. And they, they've kind of deviated from the original looks of the character. So if Mezco produces – G.I. Joe figures in six inch form with soft goods that look just like the original versions. I mean, they're sitting on a freaking gold mine. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be insane. Oh my yeah. gosh. Have they, is Destro the only one they've announced so far? Yeah. It just got announced today. Man. That, that is crazy. And then they had what the Green Ranger today as well. Yeah. Green Ranger, Ultraman, Gotham by Gaslight Batman. So there you go, Kyle. I didn't see that. I didn't, that I one looks good. Yeah, it does. Or... It looks super good. I like it a lot. Um, and then the other ones that they've shown before, they're doing a beefed up, newer, classic Superman. Yeah, I saw that. Tiger Stripe Wolverine, which looks freaking awesome. Yo, isn't it crazy they kind of reissued like two like super expensive Mezcos? Yep. Yep. Crazy, no, man. Not surprising no, at all. Man. No, they're, right, yeah. they're dipping their toes in the reissues. Watch. Yeah. A lot of stuff is about to be touched again. But they look Maybe. better. That's oh, no. Thing. 100%. Because, like, Hot Toys, sorry, I'm just kind of like leaning right here. <laughs> Hot, Toys, Hot Toys just takes the original figure, puts it in a box, and sends it out again. Hey, it's for sale again. Yeah. But Mesco is going the extra mile of redoing it. Like, mm -hmm. all new sculpt, all new soft goods. It's like a new yeah. figure, basically. So. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, I'm, I'm, I definitely agree with you on that. I was, su I was surprised to see the Wolverine one though. Yeah, because I was like, damn, I was like, that's crazy. I mean, rip to all the people who paid aftermarket, because at least the Superman, it looks like a new buck. It looks like it's a little, like beefier. Yeah. Yep. But Wolverine looks almost identical, like from a shelf view. Like looking at it, like from distance, I don't think you could really probably tell a big difference between the two, unlike you could with the Superman, is what I'm imagining. Yeah. So, it's crazy, but. Man. I think the proportions on the, the Tiger Stripe, well, the new one, looked mm -hmm. better than the original. I think it was a New York Comic Con one or yeah. something like that. Yeah. I heard a lot of people saying that it looks 10 times better already. But, I mean, I've been out of the Mezco scene for so long. So let me ask you this to, to Kyle and Josh. Uh -huh. With some of the reveals that they've had the last few days, I know, Kyle, you were interested in the Crow. 100%. Are you guys going to get back into Mezcos because of the reveals? Uh, I mean, Did you I see the like... Spider Gwen? Yeah, Spider Gwen looks good too. I just good. Yeah. yeah, sorry, Kyle. Go ahead. Oh no, you're good. I mean, like I've always I've gotten like all the horror stuff like recently. Um, so I mean, I've always gotten to Mezco's here and there. So like I'll continue with like the Crow because that's like one of my all time favorite movies. Like up there with like Clockwork yeah. Orange. Yeah. So yeah, like I'll I'll continue to get like all of like I, I'm so like you know I still have my Ash that I absolutely love and I'll still continue to get like the movie stuff. Like I'll probably pick up Alien and Predator. <laughs> Um, and Leatherface, I actually pre-ordered him. So, <clears throat> yeah, so there's quite a few of them I'll still get. <clears throat> cool. I don't think so for me. Really? Dude, I have I'm 60 do it, hot dude? toys behind me. That's all I can collect. Is <laughs> I have, I, dude, I have like six hot toys and I have three coming 
like this week that I haven't even opened yet. It's just like I don't have any room for anything else. So yeah, I can't do it, man. The Power Rangers, it, depending on the price point and if they reveal all of them, because I know they'll eventually do them. Right. That I would do because it's so like such a small knit. Like if I could get all of them and then I'd, I'd be chilling. But if I like try to do the, the Marvel stuff again, then I'm backtracking way too much. All right, Josh. So would you, if they if they do every Power Rangers series in Mezco form, so you got your Turbo, you got your Ninja oh, Force. <laughs> I would probably yeah. do the Turbo and the Mighty Morphin if yeah. they did anything, because Turbo was sick. It was, it was very cool. Plus, I met the Blue Ranger at a con. The The kid, you know, the, the little kid that was, and I think he was Turbo. He was the only, only kid Power Ranger, and when he morphed, he turned into an adult. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird, <laughs> but I just I remember watching that in theater, but that and the Mighty Morphin, that'd be it. All right, yeah. So, is there any character, Josh, that would bring you back into the Mezco game? Is there any character throughout any kind of fandom that Sadly, would? Sadly, they've you- already done it, man. Gambit, classic Wolvie, Cyclops, mm-hmm. Magneto, like all that stuff. It looks great. It's just I don't know, man. Once I started getting all these hot toys. It, it's hard for me to collect another scale because I literally feel like I'm dumping money into something that I know I'm going to sell. And at least with hot toys, I know I'm keeping them for a long time. Yeah. Like I, the only way I'm going to sell is because I literally don't have room. Like since I bought those from you, not even thinking I was like, yeah, sure. Okay. Boom. Seeing the money then I turn around and look, I'm like, I just have no room because I have one free shelf. And then I can fit one more detolf and that's it. But I have nine hot toys to fit there. <laughs> right. So, I mean, like the, the other thing about the Mezcos too, is like what I found out was like being predominantly like Josh, a hot toys collector, like the six inch just doesn't look as like, it, it's harder to make it look like a, like a, like a nice rounded display. Yeah. Just like, you know, especially like in a detolf. Cause I'm super uh, happy with my backdrop now. Right. Like I love how this stuff looks. And for me, like if I try to stick Mezco's in somewhere, I'll just be like, eh. I don't know the scale, the scale just doesn't do it for me anymore, right. but they're looking good, dude. I was, I was scrolling. Th- I actually went to Mezco's Instagram and started scrolling. I was like, damn, like these, these look good. The spider Gwen, that looks great. <clears throat> I don't know. Josh, what if they came out with that logic? <laughs> one Would you get that? Of course. I did order uh, Logic's Funko Pop, so I did buy Funko Pop. Nice, nice, pretty crazy, right? Yeah, but that's that's like something super specific. That yeah. like, yeah, <laughs> like that's that's not just a random Funko Pop. <laughs> so, Cincy and Craig, this is a, a better question for you guys. When I was scrolling through all of like Mezco's socials, I saw like dozens, if not hundreds, of comments of, "Oh, we're definitely getting Ninja Turtles." Is that is that even a thing? Like, can that happen with them? Dude, uh, Nickelodeon is given. It seems like they're kind of like given whoever wants to do something a, a shot at it. So I don't think it's out of the question. Because uh, it was specifically under the um, the the Power Ranger uh, mm-hmm. section. As soon as that was posted, I saw like quite a few people were like, "Okay, we're definitely probably getting TMNT." Mm-hmm. And I was thinking about, I was like, I mean, I. I guess they hypothetically could, because I'm sure that's classified as a different figure than like a NECA because of the price point and everything. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sure that's how licensing works, I would assume. I, so I will probably shit my pants if that happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you well, imagine you if like Mezco produced like a actual like rubber like movie figure that was like that actually looked like you like know, the, the old actual, school? Yeah. Uh, the the movie star figures that they had with the reptile skin is what they called it or something. Oh, is that mm-hmm. Yeah. You remember those, Craig? The movie star ones? Because it's the same thing as like NECA and Super 7. Like, well, that's a 7. In, is Super 7 a 7 in scale or no? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. So I guess that's how they got around that licensing. So never mind. Well, well then, it's doing like the vintage and then yeah. NECA's doing like the tune in the movie. They, well, they and Mezco totally- would be like 112th specifically. And like NECA is like what, like 6 to 7 inch scale or something like that? Sure. So I don't know. That'd be cool. You never know, <laughs> especially nowadays, man. Turtle Tuesday. Who knows what's going to happen? Uh, who was the the character that uh, the loot crate showed? I recognize them like very briefly. Annie. It's, it's a dude with Danny, the headphones. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. It's the kid. It's uh, Judith Hogue's what nephew in that April O'Neil's nephew. Was that the relation? It's her boss's son. son oh, that's okay. right. Yeah. Now yeah. people people were saying that that supposed was supposed to be the Rat King or something like that. I don't. I, I don't know. I don't know how many movies they were supposed to make, but that's what people were saying. So that would be another like two hundred dollar figure, right? Oh yeah, dude. That's crazy. insane. That is crazy. But yeah, I secured my uh, loot crate uh, all four with the extra figure today. Got nice. that going. Two hundred and twenty dollars nice. later. Two thirty eight. <laughs> two thirty eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Can't do Cynthia? shit this week. Have you picked up any new hot toys lately? Are you what are you what are you doing since you did your purge? I feel like none of us have really talked a lot about collecting. It's more of just real life. <laughs> I actually I got a Gamora in, I got Nebula in, I'm getting right. heavy Mando uh, later this week. Um I pre-ordered the deluxe boba two pack. Oh yeah. I saw that. I saw that you did that. Um I have I'm paying off IG eleven, which is releasing soon. Yeah. Paying off Worthy Cap, which is releasing soon. Dude, he's sick. He is. Oh, yeah. I love him. He looks so good. <clears throat> so good, man. Yeah. Have you opened Gamora yet? Yeah, she's awesome. Dude, I slept on her so so bad. She's on waitlist now, right? Yeah. Yeah. I had the chance to buy her. Someone hit me up and was like, "Hey, my waitlist converted, but I don't think I want her." He's like, "I could sh- have it shipped to you, and it would be two. It was like two ninety. And I was like in the middle of streaming, and he's like, I have five minutes to check out. I was like, I can't make a decision that fast. <laughs> I was like, I have five minutes to decide whether I'm spending $300 or not. Okay, got it. Yeah. So I ended up passing. And then I, I bought Wasp um, okay. from Big Bad. Nice. Because once she waitlisted on Sideshow, I was like, oh, I better get her now because that's going to be a, a random figure that's going to be like 400 plus. Mm-hmm. And I've been contemplating her for so long. It's just ha- not one that I've been wanting to pull the trigger on. So. And then I have those two from you. That's Do you have an Ant-Man from Ant-Man or Wasp? No. I should, I, I'm should. i probably going to end up getting him or one at least a, an Ant-Man just to pair with him. We'll see. I'm, I'm selling mine, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you did tell me that. That's right. <laughs> I might. Well, might have to pick it up. How would you pick it up? I don't know, man. How would I? Craig? <laughs> no Kyle? idea. So that's very interesting you bring that up. That's a um, great segue. Great segue, right? <laughs> So, here's a little announcement, guys, to you guys that are watching. In two weeks, no, gosh, was it next seven, weekend? Eight, next, eight, nine days yeah. from now? Yeah, yep. next, Mr. Thursday, next Thursday. Josh Pence and Slapshot Toys is flying to the great state of Texas. Yeah, buddy. We are. We will be at the DFW Toy Expo on March 6th in Arlington, Texas. As vendors. Damn. As vendors, yes, that's right. You can buy our stuff. Buy our stuff. I wish I could have. So yeah, maybe uh, bring some stuff. Dude, bring it. Stuff in a suitcase. (laughs) Chip it here. I'm so excited. I I am literally having to check in a bag so I can bring stuff for Cincy and Nark. (laughs) (laughs) I'm super excited, man. Yeah. So have you guys been to that toy show before? Yeah, I, I assume. Yeah, we sat up last year. And last mm-hmm. year, um, okay. Pixel, Pixel Dan was there. Oh, that's the um, show. Okay. Yeah, the Game Chasers. Uh, they put that one on, but uh, it's it's a pretty solid show. Mm-hmm. It's it's, Sweet. It's, a, it's a lot of fun. Um, a lot of stuff there. I mean, probably not many hot toys or anything like that. But that's perfect. Um, I don't need to spend money. <laughs> yeah, but it's good times. Good people. Uh, Heck yeah. The promoters are great. So. If you're in the area, you should totally come and say hi. Come and hang out. Yes. It's a little so, sweet spot reunion action. That's right. I know, right? I'm trying to think. Like, I mean, it had to be the Kokomo trip, which was what? Two, two, two years, years ago. ago? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Last be, time we were all actual together. It'll be three years this summer. Good yeah. Lord. Yeah, it was, dude, since he, it's been over <laughs> probably a year and a half since we've seen each other. Yeah. That's true. Because yeah. you, you flew in that weekend of the Columbus show when Billy and I were there. Mm-hmm. And we literally just hung out there. I think we went and got beat ups and that was it. Yeah. That was crazy. And then, yeah, it's been too long, man. That's crazy to think about. Last year flew by. 
what two or three shows all planned together last year and of course you know oh yeah you know what you know what happened so dude we had um, so much stuff planned for last we year. did it was dude. crazy i think we were even talking about vegas i think that popped up too 100 percent, it was that and i think um kane county we were going to do that was one c2e2 was one mm-hmm. now c2e2 in a uh, december of this year yeah and the thing that know. sucks about that is like that's like right around christmas so like that's like super hard to actually like get away with all the stuff that we have going on well dude not even that like but the weather there right it's going to be absolutely terrible to walk around or to drive up there or anything. I just, I feel like that's just not, not good at all, but whatever. They haven't had a show in two years. So I'm, I'm sure they're itching to get some money through the door. Right. Yeah. So I think cool. I'm going to try to go to Kane County this year. It's the uh, end of April. I'm looking into that right now. Hmm. Damn. That's something that I want to definitely go to at some point. Yeah. Dude, Maybe I would. Long. If I wasn't already, I think I'm traveling. Do you know the dates of that? I guess I could just look it up. King County. Might be like 29th of April, 28th, 27th. I don't know. I'll look real last, quick. last weekend. April 25th. Is By the way, this uh, year's? yeah, April 25th. Tattoo Toy Hunter asked, "When is the show?" It is March 6th. It's Saturday, March 6th. Um, DFW Toy Expo. Craig, what's the name of the um, actual? facility that's located at uh the odom um odom center o-d-o-m it's in Something arlington like right yeah it's in arlington okay. yep shoot <laughs> so i'll be in nashville the weekend before king county for a toy show Man. oh is that the star wars one yeah the ic con yeah Man, I want to make King County happen. I might have to make it happen. We'll see. Because that would be super fun. I want to go to that bad. We're um, me and Gavin. We're we want to go to that, but we we're, we're trying to catch a Bulls game at the same time. Oh, nice! Oh, that'd be cool. Hopefully that lines <laughs> up. So, damn, that'd be fun. That'd be fun. Absolutely. Hey, Craig. Yeah. yeah. What kind of stuff are you going to be selling at the show? Oh, I'm glad you asked. So, <laughs> um, dude, I'm bringing a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm bringing a bunch of pops. I'm bringing probably about 200 Marvel Legends in package. Wow. Probably a, about 100 Black Series. Um, yeah, like I said, pops probably two or 300. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, I, I started pricing today, started boxing things up. It's insane. Uh it's insane. Dragon Ball Z statues, uh, some SH figure arts, uh, DBZ. Um, just a, dude, I don't even know yet. I, I have a lot of crap that just needs to go. What sure. about you, sir? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I'm actually going to be bringing a few hot toys. I'm not sure which ones yet, but I don't know, maybe like four or five hot toys. Some Mezcos I'll have as well in box. Um, some other box things, random uh, figures here and there, but I'll have a lot of loose stuff because I recently thinned my collection. So I'll have some uh, loose bagged complete Transformers from Earthrise, Siege, Studio Series, Marvel Legends, DC Multiverse, just a whole lot of everything. Wow. Yes. I'll, I'll buy the hot toys. <laughs> <laughs> so... Kyle and I can like work the booth with you guys, right? Is that is that the plan? Yes, please do. Perfect. Please. I yes. love I love being a salesman. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do really good at that, I promise. And but we yeah. have uh, two tables, Craig? We have two tables and um, we're gonna make the best use of our space possible. I got some uh, shelving I'm putting aside. Um, I'm gonna have crap everywhere it's gonna be insane i'm trying to get that stage booth that we saw remember oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. i'm trying to i'm trying to get that one locked down so we have more space up and down um so we'll see so if excited. i sell and i haven't set my sales goal yet but if i sell a certain amount of money i will stage dive off that stage <laughs> <laughs> Can uh, Uber Hulk like catch you? 
Someone has to catch me. I'm going to be paralyzed. After. Dang. I'm ready for it. Is so is the show Friday, Saturday, and Sunday or Saturday only? I think it's um Oh shit. So we got like Thursday and Friday to kick it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh man. Wait, I mean I I was promised a hockey game. Well, we Ooh. got that. That, that is that is done. That's a done deal. We're going to <laughs> hockey game? We're going we got um we got box tickets, guys. We got we got when box did this tickets. Happen? <laughs> um it was, was like this not with me? No, you were on the text because you because I said I'd bring a jersey for you. Oh, yeah, that's right. yeah, yeah. Yo, I can't wait to call everyone for icing because that's the only penalty <laughs> I know. Icing and offsides. <laughs> that's what I do when I play NHL. <laughs> Constantly offsides. <laughs> so wait, wait, that's for real happening. We're going to a hockey game. Yeah. yeah. So oh, you guys sweet. land that morning, and then we're going to kick around during the day, and then we're going to go up to American Airlines and. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty sweet, man. We Did get all the uh, all, all the bells and whistles since uh like I was in elementary school and it was the Dayton Bombers. I don't even think Cincy knows about that. Kyle, you yeah. know about that? You know about that, Cincy? ECHL, yeah, yeah. A little Dayton Bombers action. Man, I'm excited now. Let's go. Love going to those games. Yeah. <laughs> um, Rachel called up there, and they still have the all you can eat service and drink service oh, and all that still well then <laughs> oh, I don't know about that they probably have sneeze guards up now <laughs> yeah i mean it's definitely going to be different from from last year oh, yeah dude, that's awesome i'm super excited for that then holy smokes uh, entry fee i think it's two dollars three dollars i think it's super cheap <clears throat> to get in the show sorry oh for the toy show yeah yeah where what, what was the show what was Retro Palooza for me? Was it five? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I think I paid five bucks to get in there. More than five bucks. Man. But yes, yeah, so to reiterate, if you're just joining us, we will all be vendors at the DFW Toy Expo next Saturday. Not this Saturday, next Saturday, March 6th. What are the hours, Craig? Um, I want to say it's either 9 or 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Is there, the early, is there an early buyer's hour? No, there's not. Okay. There's not. Um, but we went to the show a few weeks ago. Um, if anybody was kind of timid about going, it was I feel like that I was very safe. Uh, there was hand sanitizing stations everywhere. Uh, people were pretty comfortable. I mean, it seemed like. Uh, yeah, everyone's wearing a mask. We're all going to be masked up. There's there's bathrooms you can wash your hands and all that stuff there. I promise not to sneeze on anyone. Right. <laughs> but yeah, it's it'll be fun. Come out, just check out. Even if you don't buy anything for me or Craig or or if Hang Kyle, out. It, just come out and uh, see what what's out there. It's all toys. That's the good thing. It's not like a mixture of comics and other video games or anything. It's all toys. So. I hope I don't buy anything stupid, like something I don't need. Because I have a feeling those kind of shows are what gets me. I'll just walk around and be like, oh, Black Series. Yeah, I remember collecting those by $300 worth for no reason. (laughs) (laughs) I feel like, and I feel like we're all kind of bad influences on each other. Because I tend to buy a lot more when I'm hanging out with you guys than I do. Since you made me spend like $500 in comic pages (laughs) at G2 for the first time. Just kidding. I still have those. I like those a lot. Speaking of which, I almost spent a large amount of money, which I didn't have, on some original art last week, but I did not. What from what series? Um, I don't want to say because I don't, I don't want someone to 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 get it. Because if I do really really well at the DFW Toy <laughs> Expo next Saturday, March sixth, if I do really really well and stage dive, if I do really really well. I'm going to spend some of that hard-earned money on some original art ski. Nice. <laughs> and, and get a lot of toys. Yeah, exactly. Good point. <laughs> you yeah, have to. Of course. Why not? Yeah, that's, that's what you mm. do, right? But it's the artwork is amazing. I'll show you when you're here, but um, obviously it's one of one. So if I share what title it's from oh, and the artist, and someone looks it up and they're like, whoa, that's awesome. Then they're gonna they're gonna buy it out from under me. So just out of spite, purely. Yeah, 
<laughs> for once, I'm going to be a little selfish here. I I don't blame you on that one. That's nope. true. But yeah, Kyle, if, okay. if anybody plans on coming into town, there's a ton of toy stores here. We have uh, Retro Madness, of course, three locations. We have uh, Dallas Vintage Toys. We have Empire Toys. We have since Stash. you helped me out, Stash. Up, uh, Toy Sash. We wow. have Jaden's Cool Toys. We have, dude, there's we have like nine or thirteen. I don't know. We have a lot. <laughs> it's a great spot. Yeah. Since where do you all, you buy your hot toys then? Like locally, is there a spot that has like TBT. hot toys? Dallas TBT. Yeah. Dash also has hot toys though. They they have some good ones. Here and there, cool. but yeah, we can hit those up on Thursday or Friday. Yeah, yeah. no, I'm down. Perfect. What What are we going to do Friday then? Is that when you guys need to go and like set up like Friday night, or is that a Saturday morning thing? Saturday morning, I think load in is at eight a.m. But I'm gonna have all my stuff done before we pick you guys up on Thursday, so it's gonna be ready to go. Okay, won't have to worry about it. Um, yeah. and then we're good to go, guys. Good to hang. Yeah. So, then Friday's like full rain of stuff. Man, all the activities. We can, Dude, um, Andrew, thank you for the, that's good, for Andrew. the spot, man. Thank My you God, so much. It. Appreciate that. If anyone is still into sports cards also, we can hit up some uh, card shops here locally. There's a bunch of them here. Oh, I forgot about that <laughs> black hole. Have you I been finding have- any? Um, not at retail. No, it, the scalpers have taken over the retail card market. Dude, it is ridiculous, man. There, so like a while back, I found some Prism, and I, I hit Walmart up like super early. It was like months and months ago. I went through and I bought like four or five packs. I came home, opened them. Literally, as soon as I got done opening them, I was like, "All right, I got to go back." I went back, cleared. Oh yeah. I was like, so I should just bought them all at that point. You got to get there right when the uh, stock person is stocking the shelves because there's there's people there's card shop owners that like stake them out and just wait for them to to clean them out. That's crazy how bad it. No, not really bad, but like how obsessive people are getting over it because it's. I have signs at my Target that uh, I think it's three per customer. That's what they're saying. Ours is <laughs> one. Ours is one pack or one k or like whatever the box is. Because since you remember when we were like hitting sports cards up real like intensely, and we you could still find them. Like I remember oh, yeah. going through all my Walmart, and now dude, it's just like zero. Mm-hmm. And dude, uh, that one of the um, David Adams cards uh, I did a Father's Day by, so it was two years ago, and I bought the three mega boxes. It was like the 2017, 2018. It was with Giannis on the cover, the optic mm-hmm. ones, Craig. Yeah, I bought three like mega boxes that they were called. They retailed for sixty bucks, and they're on sale for like fifteen dollars for the wow. Father's Day thing. I bought three of them. I ripped them all open. But dude, I, when I was looking on eBay, when I was selling my, um, I forget whose rookie card it was. It doesn't matter. Uh, dude, those boxes were going for like two hundred dollars sealed. I'm just like, honestly, the way to do it is just to buy up stock and just sit on it and just sell the sealed packs. Like, don't even take the chance of opening them yeah. because. The sealed packs, like uh, a hanger pack, three like the three packs in one. Mm-hmm. Dude, those are like 60, 70 bucks, and they retail at like 15 or 20. It's crazy now. It's, it, dude, it's just ridiculous, man. Like, Since you got a message from Jared. Oh, I'm there. not going to sell those. Those those are ones that I'm going to hold on to. The Royal Guards. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your 10, though. <laughs> Appreciate, it, dude. Appreciate it, man. I'll be right back. I got to start the potatoes, guys. Oh. Yeah, he's cooking dinner. Oh. Kyle. Um, yeah. Do you realize that um, not – so I think it's two weeks from the, the Dallas show. We have the great Ohio Toy Show. I was actually going to ask you about that if we were planning on going up to it. I, I wanted to go for I'm sure. Down. Yeah. Because nah, it's up it. to like 400 vendor tables, I think. Oh, damn. Yeah, they, 400 vendor tables. They, uh, That's insane. So, Kyle, they – you remember how big it was last March when mm-hmm. we went? Like it was the two buildings. Yeah. I, I I think I read correctly that they actually had to extend it even more because there's so many people that wanted tables. That's awesome. So it's going to I think it's over four hundred vend three three fifty or four hundred vendor tables. That's insane, dude. Yeah. So I mean it, it was a really cool show last year. Yeah. I mean it wasn't wasn't bad and it's pretty much all toys now. Like mm-hmm. from the first time they did it. Till like the last show, it's like a hundred percent better. Right. 
because there's really not any like garbage. It's all like good quality stuff. So nice. March is going to be a crazy content month for me. I haven't put out a video in like a month and a half. <laughs> <laughs> so we got this weekend, next weekend, and then that toy show in two weeks. So it'll be fun. Yeah. Hey guys, guess guess what? Uh oh. Well, went to McDonald's. Got some Pokemon. Those are hot. Right now. <laughs> They're hot. They're hot. It's super hot. Dude, just cars in general are so hot. It's ridiculous. All right. Let's see what I can pull. Oh, you haven't opened them yet. Are no, not yet. Oh, shit. All right, so, what, so what is this for the uninitiated as like myself? <laughs> so this is the McDonald's uh, Pokemon. Uh, it's like four cards per per pack. Okay. And I think the chase is the hollow uh, Pikachu. So... Here's a little story that I heard. I don't remember who the frick I heard it from. Oh, shit, Craig. Yeah. Damn, that's not a bad one to pull. That's holographic, right? Yes, sir. Regular Pikachu. God. No idea. Apolio and... Oh, Rowlet. Oh, gosh. Stupid green screen. <laughs> I was like, I, I was sitting there. I was like, that's like the coolest card I've ever seen. It's like a weird <laughs> translucent. <laughs> Die cut. Um, I heard a story that when they first came out at McDonald's, some person bought a whole case of those Pokemon packs and put it on eBay and sold it for sixteen hundred dollars. What? So, so they had to start. Um, they they had to start like uh, minimizing because a lot of times you could just go to McDonald's and buy the Happy Meal toy and not get a Happy Meal. Right. But now they made a rule, at, I guess a lot of McDonald's, that you must buy a Happy Meal to get that pack. That's crazy. People on my timeline were posting receipts of like buying 100 Happy Meals, and it was like $300. I'm just like... <laughs> Bought four today. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Someone in the chat just said Columbus Toy Show is rescheduled for August. Wow. If that's true, then... Craig and Cincy need to come up. I'm down. Wait, when is it? Someone in the chat said the Columbus Toy Show was rescheduled for August. Oh, I'm down. If that's a thing, I don't know why that's not ringing a bell to me. But oh, you know what, Josh? That oh, that's perfect. The Great Ohio Toy Show. That's the uh, that's the weekend of my birthday. So oh, I can spend money. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is we skip the toy show and just go to Columbus to the shoe store. I mean, to I, stop. okay, no, I, in the Jordans. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm still a little bit disappointed. <laughs> I, I I was planning on buying a pair, and I bought. I walked away with nothing. Oh, Cincy. Ooh, those are nice. Remember, there was there was one day when these dropped the Miles Morales ones. Oh, is that those? Mm -hmm. Remember, we were both in the group chat, and I think we both were were about to buy them. They're in our cart, and we we're like, nah, like it's cool. I don't know if this will focus. Does that say six? Six hundred and twenty bucks. Oh my god! And these retailed at one hundred and seventy dollars. Oh. So I might. I don't know yet. I might bring these down and break them in. Don't wear that those. Too. I don't want them to get ruined. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's all good. I feel like you. I feel like that's like the perfect time. Like two years, we haven't seen each other. Like if you're gonna wear those shoes, I feel like that's the time to do it. I know, man. It's. I might, I might have to do it because those are like a special. I have like a lot of shoes that are like seven hundred and up that I'm just waiting to to wear on a special occasion. Because so, I'm definitely wearing them. I'm not keeping any of these shoes and not wearing them. Just don't wear them to the freaking hockey game because I'm probably gonna spill beer on them if you do. <laughs> I might like wear them like to the airport and then change them once you guys pick us up. You know, something like that. Put plastic I mean, bags on them and walk around with plastic. <laughs> I mean, yep. that, that's what I did at our escape room. I like I wore my Jordan <laughs> Four. What does didn't want to wear them in the escape room, so I changed my NMDs. <laughs> I'm like that in is the car changing our shoes while cops like sitting right next to us. And I'm like I swear I'm not doing anything weird, sir. <laughs> hey Daniel, no problem, brother. I'm glad you made some money. Uh, yeah. So guys, so the Columbus Toy Show has been moved to August 29th, 2021. Nice. Okay. Is that it? One day or two days? That one's one it's day. One day. Okay. It's one day. Okay. But we could. So is that is that a Sunday? It's a Sunday. Yeah, unfortunately. But I mean, if you guys would be available, we could pretty much do the same thing. You guys come up yeah. here, spend a whole weekend up here, and then go to the show on Sunday. No. Yeah. I'll Somebody put it on the calendar. T dogs did that stupid. You're 
right. You're correct. When when I come up there, I kind of want to fly in through Cincinnati and uh, a hit up some of the stores down there that I miss, but also mm-hmm. hit up some of the places I used to eat at a lot. <laughs> well, um, where, uh, What's that chili dog place? Gold Star Skyline. Those are the two that I really miss. Yeah. Only, only one of them is actually good, but. <laughs> Which one? Skyline. <laughs> oh, Gold good, dude. They got the uh, salted buns. <laughs> I don't salty. like either of them. What? Oh, you're crazy. I can't do it. I freaking love I miss it so much. Nate. I miss the ponies. Oh, yeah, toy departments. I got to pick up my heavy mana from toy department whenever that comes in. So I'm 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 dreading going to Toy oh Department because they actually have something I really want right now. <laughs> what they got? What is it? They have the uh, six scale uh, Ghostface Killer from uh, Scream. Do they really? Oh, I, I do. See, I see that. I really want that. <clears throat> oh yeah. Jared, come through. Oh yeah, dude, come on, let's do it. <clears throat> That's why I've been kind of like toying with selling my Mezco horror stuff for since uh, sideshows doing a lot of the six scale. I can see them like deep idea. diving into it even more too. Because mm-hmm. those like, sideshow figures are good. Scream, scream is like scream is up there. I I would say that's right behind Evil Dead for me as far as like my favorite horror movie of all time. Mm-hmm. So like yeah, I, I really want that ghost face. Do it, Kyle. Do it. Do I, it. I more than likely will. This weekend. <laughs> Let's get it. Is everybody caught up on uh, WandaVision? Yes. Yes. What y'all thinking? I'm I thinking I'm about to buy the more hot toy ever. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, spoiler alert, guys. If you're watching this right now, we're going to talk spoilers on WandaVision. Hopefully you've watched it by now. But um, I was watching John Campia today, and I heard a very, very interesting, not a rumor, but a theory on, on the whole Agnes thing. And the theory is that Wanda is behind everything and that Agnes or Agatha Harkness was created by Wanda to be her villain that she's going to win against. Because the theory is that Wanda has every, every like big battle that Wanda has been in has ended in tragedy Mm -hmm. uh, where someone close to her died. And so everything has been almost like a failure for her. So the reason behind her doing what she's doing and creating the hex and <clears throat> creating the whole world that she's in is that she wants to be victorious in a battle. So she created Agnes to be her foil. So that's the theory is that everyone thinks huh. that Agatha Harkness is this bad person that's controlling everything. But the theory is that Wanda is still behind everything and controlling everything and she created or controls Agnes to be her um, the villain, her yeah. villain that yeah. she's going to win against. Huh. Well, because because in the comics, Agatha was most of the time, from what yeah. I've understood, like neutral, if yeah. if anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like the whole Mephisto, I'm sure you've heard of those theories too, right? Mm-hmm. With that's why the the kids are not like in the basement per se because mm-hmm. it's really Mephisto doing his thing. And then the, the fly or the locust on the, the, the curtain and stuff is supposedly, that's how he showed up in the comics for the first time. Was that yeah. so? Do you that- guys watch um, New Rock Stars? Have you ever I watched their I don't. Yeah. Um, you guys should, I highly recommend them because so obviously the show comes out Friday. Every Saturday, they do like a super breakdown of like scene by scene. And it's normally like a 20 or 25 minute video, but they go like, extremely in depth and i've really? i've come yeah. to like really like look forward to their videos so and that's like one of the only channels that i really follow for um like analysis breakdown type yeah. of stuff so right. i would check them out though they're super cool it's uh, it's like high production they have like almost three million subscribers so they're like they're big time their their production's like high quality so it's good stuff so i would and check they, them out if you they pick out all of the Easter eggs that you might not notice, and then they give theories on those Easter eggs. Yeah. So it, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I enjoy it, but um, yeah, I haven't heard that one though about uh, Wanda creating Agatha. Yeah, 
I was kind of thinking that, like, I don't know, because it, yeah, it's just it's it's odd the way that you know, like she's portrayed in the in a couple earlier episodes to like all of a sudden just be like, oh, I'm so and so. So yeah, like that would make sense to me if that's actually what's going on. Well, when you think about it, uh, at the end of the last episode, Agatha Harkness had her own theme song. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, well, why would she have her own theme song unless Wanda created the theme song for her? Because everything we see with the television show, Wanda is created. Right. And I guess like my thing too is okay. So if she's you know being controlled while she's in the bubble or the what 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 is uh the hex you know, what the hex yeah like <laughs> when she walked out with the drone obviously she was under no one's control at that point. Mm -hmm. And still mm -hmm. was like, you know, <clears throat> turned all the guns on the director and was like, do not mess with me. Right. So, like, in my mind, OK, she's out of it. Therefore, that it's not controlling her anymore. So, yeah. So I, I don't know. I, I think that that may be what's going on. That'd be cool if that is what's what's actually happening. Yeah. <laughs> How many episodes are in this season? Does anybody know? Like, There's two more. On? There's eight. Yeah. Oh, and supposedly yeah. the next two are each an hour. Hour, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yo, are we going to be able to watch the season finale together? Yeah. Oh, yes, we can. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> the finale, so, yeah. Yeah, yo, that would be fun. Dude, Jared, thanks, man. Thanks for the bomb. <laughs> Comment books are like, which hot toy would be dope since she wears a costume and show. I love that look. Yes. That'd be cool if they did the uh, Halloween great. costume hot toys. That's that what everyone awesome. wants. Yeah, I would 1000% buy that day one. I, I very rarely will pre order Hot Toy day one. That would be one that I do 100%. Um, well, I since you can hear us, right? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm just what, what, are, so since we're all caught up, what are your guys' thoughts on the show to date? Like, is it a great show or is it just like a mediocre show in your eyes? Cause it's I think it's show. awesome. I yeah. think it's, I think it's awesome. So um, I think it's a great show. And even the episodes that a lot of people like didn't really like, like the first three episodes I liked a lot because it gave me twilight zone vibes and twilight yeah. zone is one of my favorite yeah, television sure. shows of all time. And I just love how they're going down like a certain route and like, it seems like a sitcom and then something really weird and bizarre happens. Like the whole yeah. the, the, uh, boss okay. choking. Yep. And then the, his wife just like it just it freaked me the frick out. So I think that's why I like it so much is because even the, from start to finish, it's been a mystery. It's been bizarre. It's just yeah. been very strange. It's different, and I just it's I don't know. It's uh, it's it's awesome. I love it. Well, the, one of the things that I have grown to really like about the show is the way that they shoot different parts of the show so like when it's like the mcu it goes to like the it, perspective. It, yep. yeah the perspective yeah. and then when it's the sitcom it, it raises out and you almost don't notice it right. at first and then like the, the part that you were talking about when he starts choking when i was watching that new rock stars thing they made a really good uh observation so it was like a sitcom angle and then once that happened it was almost like a, a horror movie because it was yep. like a slow pan Yep. And like everything changed and it was the just music. like, yeah. mm -hmm. dude, it's to me, I, I don't think any episode has been boring. I watched the first two episodes once and I was like, okay, I like this. Like it's different. And that's what I feel like. It's like a palate cleanser almost. Mm -hmm. Cause if it would have been a normal, like, Oh, superhero action type stuff, it would have been fun. Don't get me wrong. But like this, it's like, right, man. It, I feel like they're like deep diving into a bunch of stuff. So I don't know. I, I fully love it. I, hope everyone gives it the chance that yeah. it deserves before yeah. they start saying stuff. So well, I think that's the coolest part about it is like Disney, obviously like, don't get me wrong. I love all the Marvel movies, but they're all kind of formulaic. Like we all know what's going to happen. Like they all hit this, the kind of the same beats And this one from the trailer. And I think that turned off a lot of people off because you look at it and it's like, <laughs> what the heck is this? I don't want to watch, you know, I love Lucy, Wanda and vision. Yeah. Even like the, the first couple yeah. moments of the first episode, I was like, well, what is this? But then, yeah, the choking scene happens with uh, Kitty. Yeah. That, that's the only person I saw. That's all I'm going to call her. <laughs> that's it's, a new show. It's Kitty from that yeah. show. That's all she is. 
Uh, but yeah, like once that happened, I'm like, like that's when I like my interest really peaked. I'm like, okay, there's something dark and sinister. And I think that's the thing I like the most about it. Cause I honestly think this is the most interesting thing Disney has done with Marvel. And I think that's because they took a chance with going way outside the box with knowing that, Hey, a lot of people may not like this. This may turn some people off, but they're telling a super interesting story that one has a ton of mystery to it, has some horror elements to it, still mm-hmm. has like a lot of nostalgia because you're sitting there and I'm like, Hey, like that's the full house intro. Hey, that's Malcolm mm-hmm. in the middle. Hey, mm-hmm. that's modern mm-hmm. family. Yeah, uh, like, yeah. There's like all these like throwbacks. Like, I, I, I don't know. I, I am absolutely blown away. Um, and, and it's like, I think it's the most creative thing they've done with yeah. the Marvel. Um, and I hope that this is what we're going to see forward. Um, Cause to me, this feels like an indie comic. Like this mm-hmm. feels like you're taking like Chip Zdarsky and allowing him to actually tell an interesting Marvel story as opposed to just having to hit the normal beats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I think it's, yeah, I think it's the best thing Marvel's done so far. Yeah. Um, Y'all notice when the kids were like playing video games that changed, they had like a GameCube controller, <laughs> then an Atari yep. controller. Like I flipped out. I was like, and then it went to Uno cool. cards. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, um, shit, I was about to say something. Oh, uh, nope. I already forget. Fuck. Never mind, I was, was, was kind of worried about the MCU after Endgame because how do you top that? I mean, that was right. like the biggest thing in like cinematic history for action movies or just in general. So I was like, what are they going to do to top that? Like the next phase is just going to be blah compared to Endgame. Yeah. But like, if they continue to go down this route with just the stuff that's just so different than everything we've seen, I'm really liking it. So hopefully like – um, Falcon and Winter Soldier is good as well, and Loki. Mm-hmm. Loki looks really cool because it's a whole time travel thing, and I've always loved time travel shows. Yeah, so that that looks like it's going to be good too. So I'm doing a thing with these the the MCU shows is I'm not watching any trailers beforehand mm. because okay. I, I I didn't watch anything with WandaVision, but I obviously started up first episode as soon as it came out, and I don't know I just, I feel almost like surprised with everything. Because I guess in the trailer, it showed obviously a lot of what's already kind of happened. Like when Vision touches Agnes's uh, head and when she's in the car, mm-hmm. when the truck mm-hmm. like drives into the hex, like all that stuff. So I don't know. It's fun because I think this is our first MCU show that we've had. And with how good they have been with the MCU, I can only imagine this is going to like be putting sprinkles on top, man. Because with the intertwining that it's doing and what I was going to say is... Dude, when they showed the reverse blip and when they oh, showed oh, Wanda yep. going in to get Vision, they're like, this was nine days after the blip. It's just like, yo, like now we know where this is in the timeline. Yeah. Like, and to me, I get super like hyped when stuff starts to make sense and we get like, uh, like timeline intervals. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, we know when this was happening. So now you start thinking, like, well, where's so and so at? Yo, is so and so going to show up possibly? Because at this point, you know, they could do this because because uh, Paul Bettany said that there's still one crazy cameo to happen. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I have zero idea who it could be. I Besides love Reed Richards. Uh, Pietro. I love Y'all how think? they did the, um, the reverse blip in WandaVision mm-hmm. because like the only time we've really seen that is in uh, Spider-Man and they made it like comical. Because it was yeah. the whole marching band being in the middle, middle of the basketball That's game. Why. Yeah. And, and you laughed at it. But like when they showed it from the perspective of in the hospital and all these people are reappearing and it's mm. pure freaking chaos. Yeah. I was like, holy crap. I never thought about it that way. Mm. That, that could cause a lot of problems. Just people reappearing out of nowhere yeah. after yep. five years. So, yeah, well, I, I really like the way they did it. Well, so, even like you look at the idea that like, okay, the people that blipped – they've lost loved ones that have lived the last five years. Mm-hmm. Like, and that was, a, that was kind of the crazy thing when she's at like the nurse's station saying, no, my mom's, you know, in this room. And it's like, she died three years. Like, that's a crazy thing. You don't think that everyone that didn't blip still lived their life. Still. Yeah. yeah. Still aged. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah no, it, it was a super unique kind of look at, I guess, the civilian side of what's going on. Mm-hmm. So, th- so this show is going on during Far From Home, hypothetically, right? Yeah, that's crazy, crazy to think, man. The possibilities that's... are endless. 
Especially since WandaVision is going to directly tie into Spider-Man 3. Yep. And probably the, the what's the Doctor Strange, Strange one? The multiverse the, something? Yeah. yeah. Something. Multiverse of Madness. Yeah. Dude, that's crazy. We get to watch the season finale together. Because the reports oh, yeah. are the that's Doctor super cool. The Doctor Strange will have much more of like a horror vibe to it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can't wait for that. It's going to be dope. All the shows look good, man. All of them. I agree. Hmm. I hope Loki is like quantum leap where like he goes back in time or goes to a different time and shows up as some Marvel character or something that would be or acts like that. That would be amazing. Yeah. I, I don't know. They're doing great. I'm super excited for everything that's coming. Can't complain about that. I think, yes. they're gonna, I think they're gonna tie Kang into uh, the Loki series because it's all about time travel. Owen Wilson plays like some kind of time police or something. Huh. Um, if you've seen that trailer, and uh, I, Kang is obviously a time traveler, so all the time travelers are gonna somehow tie into Loki. Yeah, you should watch it on live stream so we can all enjoy it. That might be tough to do. I guess we could hypothetically. Just pointing the camera at us. Yeah, the, the guy, the what's the guy that did the Star Wars, the or the Mandalorian, the last episode? Star Wars theory. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Dude Jerry, lost it. It's turned down very low. <laughs> yeah, I you? mean, it, it was a beautiful scene. It really was. <laughs> did you yeah, see I, that? I, um, I, uh, God, what's what's the what's the dude's name? It's not Dave Filoni. It's the other guy. And um. Yeah, Favreau. No, not Favreau. Um, he, uh, sorry, he's not on the Mandalorian. He's not working for the Mandalorian, but he's the he's a guy in Disney with Lucasfilm. He does all. He ties everything together. Um, hmm. someone will know. But anyways, this guy made fun of uh, Star Wars oh. theory. You know who I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot his name too. Yep. Someone in chat, tell us now. But um. He got like roasted by him, and then he, he ended up calling him out. And I guess like Disney and Lucasfilm like reached out to Star Wars Theory, like apologizing. He's like, I don't care. Like it is what it is. <laughs> pa- Pablo Jonathan, Hidalgo. Thanks, yep. Thanks for the fire bomb. What movie are you guys all hyped for? Justice League, Black Widow, Godzilla versus Kong, or Mortal Kombat? What do you say? Uh, well, first off, I just want to say I love how he got all the emojis. Like that was kind of <laughs> thing. so. Shout out to Jonathan. Oh, you, uh, what, he even did, what he even did with the Mortal Kombat was yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Scorpion. That's awesome. I mean, I don't know, man. It's a tie between Black Widow and Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat looks phenomenal. I, That's just going to be a good action movie. I am yeah. super hyped after watching that trailer. Yeah, like super hyped, like. Yeah, I I was shocked on how much I actually liked that trailer. Very cool. Yeah, I'm going to say, I mean, I love Godzilla. So Godzilla versus Kong and probably uh, Mortal Kombat for me, for sure. See, see, he's forgetting one there because you have Robert Pattinson Batman, which I think is... Oh, yeah. When does that come out? I am beyond excited for that. Uh, I think it's slated for, I want to say, late summer, early fall for this year, I think. Really? I could be wrong on that. Oh, nice. Okay. Hopefully. Nice. But yeah, I am beyond excited for that one. What about you, Cincy? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Um, Black Widow. I mean, I've lost almost all hype for Black Widow, and I can mm-hmm. almost figure out what's going to happen in that anyway, just based on all so the fucking, yeah, all, all the trailers I've seen and. and and scenes, I, I can figure out what's going to happen there. Justice League, I've already seen the story. I'm looking forward to the additional scenes. Godzilla Kong, I'm looking forward to that. But just after that trailer, Mortal Kombat is what excites me the most. Yeah. Could yeah. You, can you imagine the the Storm collectible prices once uh, Mortal Kombat comes out? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Dude, especially Goro. Oh he's yeah. Gonna, he's yeah. going to get stupid, stupid expensive. Well, oh, yeah. some of the, I think some of the McFarlane uh, Mortal Kombat figures have already gone up. Like, I think Johnny Cage has already gone up in price on the secondary. Crazy. Got some of them. <laughs> Craig. You got, I got that some one? of them. I got, I got, I got a few. Are got you going to have those at the <laughs> DFW Toy Expo Saturday, March 6th? 
in Arlington, Texas. Are you going to have some of those? Yes, I am. I have quite a few of the two packs. I know the the Raiden and uh, or the was it Scorpion and Sub Zero or I don't know whatever two pack that is. I just have so much crap. You when you guys walk into my <laughs> warehouse, you're seriously going to shit yourself. Like, Craig, I'm not. It's no hype. For real. It's, it's are we are no we deal. still doing are we still doing the thing with the warehouse the little hype trailer video thing? Are we going to do that or no? Yes, yes, okay. we will do that when you're right. here. So hopefully when my plan in my head, I haven't yep. talked to you guys about it. When you guys land, we'll all go eat lunch and then yep. we'll go to the warehouse Perfect. because it, we're closer to my, my territory. And They're then, going to like 2.45 though. So it might be an early dinner. T- or early dinner. God, y- yeah. Y'all's flight keeps on changing. I forgot. Dude, yeah. uh, homie, when, uh, when I got the notification that our flight was at like six in the morning, I was just like, <laughs> no fucking way. Because that means Kyle's going to have to get up at like 2 o'clock in the morning to get ready, drive up. I was just like, no, there's no shot. And then it yeah. changed like a week later. I'm like, make up your mind. Like, how does a flight change that far out? I don't know. I, I don't know airline scary. stuff. So it's it was just crazy. I had already made peace. I wasn't sleeping that night. Cause I, yeah, cause I was sitting there and I was like, literally, if we have to be at the, if our flight leaves at 6 a.m., that means to get to your house, like we need to be there by like no later than 5 which means I had to leave my house by four. Yeah, I, I wasn't sleeping that yeah. night. If it flew, if it left that early. A 10 o'clock flight's much better. Yeah, that, that, that allows for a little bit of sleeping. <laughs> a little bit. I want to be too excited to sleep, man. Right, it's going to be like Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it crazy? Yeah. Like, we're going to go to a freaking sporting event and a toy show. Like, right. semi-normal? Like Texas. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but semi-normal like flew out the window once I knew that all of us were hanging out again. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like anything true. past this is just wonderful in my eyes. I'm oh, yeah. super hyped for it, man. <laughs> super hyped. Cannot wait. So we got to find something fun to do Friday. Yeah, yeah. There's, dude. There's, there's all kinds of stuff. There's a, uh, I don't know. We don't yeah, have I... to revolve around toys. We can like no. go do some like grown shit too. Yeah. I want to play some. I want to play some talk golf. That, I was actually about to say. Oh no! Oh god! <laughs> Dude, I broke my hand last time I was at Top Golf. <laughs> oh, I was going to recommend Top Golf. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's what we said. God damn it! Three to one. All right, I'm in. Just don't record me when I'm swinging the damn golf club, please. No, you're you're going to be recorded, dude. Dude, I I'm not even kidding you. I jammed my hand when I was playing top golf because I would swing so hard and hit the damn the the I don't know the ground I guess, and I hit it once. It went up. <laughs> the the ball went up to the next level above us. It was terrible. You defied the laws of physics. <laughs> I had zero idea how I did it, but it is. I mean, I'm down with top golf, hundred percent. Oh yes, I love that place. Do you have any axe throwing? Yeah, we have axe throwing. Dude, let's do axe throwing. Oh, um, there's a place by my house we can go bull riding. Oh, frick. Are you talking about Billy Bob's? <laughs> I don't yeah, think like I legit, that. like bull riding. Like, not like, like mechanical or like, like the live a, yeah. action? Live, like a, a, no, like a for real. Like oh, yeah, I'm chilling on, on that. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. I mean, I was just, you know. I don't, want, I, don't, I don't want this to turn into like some like death video on YouTube of my like yeah. insides being gutted <laughs> out. <laughs> Yo, but Craig, for if there's axe throwing, we should totally look into that, man. It's so much fun. Has anyone been? Have you been? I went when I was in Kentucky, actually. Like and I saw you guys. Oh, That's for fun. real? <laughs> oh, bet. Yeah, we should totally do that. That's fun, dude. It'd be fun because I'm down to do like some non toy stuff. We can do Thursday. We can go to those toy sh- shops or whatever, and then Friday just do like a like a grown up day. I don't know. Have actual fun. I'm not worry about toys. Vintage toys. Thank you for the bye bomb. Great to see you guys together. Funny how we geeks watch the same shows. John Campia, new rock stars. Craig, you turtle collection is fire. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Hey Seth, what's popping? What's good? I actually got shouted out by John Campia today on his live. You did? Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow. He read one of my comments in the chat. That's wow. awesome. Seth, thanks for the fire bomb. Hey, everyone, be safe and have fun at the expo. Hope you guys find some good stuff. 
Hey, aren't you guys uh, going to uh, Toy Atlanta, Seth? Like you and Brian and yeah, and I had that plan last year too. Like yep, you did. Yep. Because you like had the tickets and everything like planned out. We had the Atlanta Hawk tickets. Then yep. we we're going to go to the show. Then we we're going to fly to you guys for the yep. Columbus show, I guess. Yep. Yeah, because it was like the the next week or the same week something. I don't know. I don't remember. But yeah, man, we had so much fun stuff planned. Stupid COVID. Yeah. Very stupid COVID. Craig, how many people we got in here right now? Uh, one forty three. One forty three. Nice. Oh shit! Let's go. What's up, chat? What's going on, guys? Y'all should hit up the arcade in Fort Worth. I mean, that's an idea too. <laughs> Nate P says bull riding. That would make that the last spot <laughs> live stream, then, huh? <laughs> More than Big likely. Be it. That's a wrap. <laughs> Big facts to that. <laughs> I honestly, bro, I'm still like, I cannot believe that next weekend is already it. Because I feel like we planned this forever ago when in reality it wasn't. I mean, it was just like a couple weeks ago, but. Uh, I mean, that was mid, I mean, I guess about November. Yeah. No, wait. Well, Jan- Josh January, and I started talking it? about it, like. Oh, when I was in Atlanta. When you were in Atlanta. Yeah. Do you, do you even want to say anything about that yet, Craig? Or no? Yeah, we can talk about it. I don't care. So the plan is, Kyle. Um, and obviously chat, it's not a secret conversation. So the thing that I did with, with Brian, with the live sale, with his stuff, um, when we get to his warehouse, I think I'm going to film, well, I'll I'll be filming that day anyways, but I'm going to film that specifically and kind of show people what Craig has, everything that he wants me to show. And then I think probably in the next couple of months, I fly back down for like a weekend and we do like a live sale with all, like his warehouse inventory on my page. Cause obviously yes. it works for Brian too. So yeah, that's, that's the plan for sure. I mean, I haven't even put out on my videos what I all have. I'm just kind of like, I've been keeping it until we could do this. <laughs> yeah. So it should, should be pretty well, sweet. From the pictures that you've showed us, it's pretty effing crazy. It's nuts. I mean, it's not like high end stuff like Brian had, of course, but it's a little of everything. But it's, it's the sure. stuff that moves. Yes, for sure. Moves your body. Speaking of, have you sold like at least one v- hack? Yes, I'm a uh, actually only about a quarter of them, but I haven't really put my focus on that yet. Right. So okay. that's good. Um, you get some stuff out there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I go back and forth with like retro games and legends and yeah, whatever's whatever's popping. That's oh, what shit. I do. Uberhawk says, Josh, I'll see you next Saturday at the toy show. Josh, get, get ready, it. man. Get ready. <laughs> I think him and Cincy squared off last year. He, oh, that's a real he thing. Me up on my head. He, he baseballed me and like almost choked on me through a table. I'm down with that. <laughs> I get paid, right? So I, he he did scare the crap out of Pixel Dan. That was pretty funny too, like legit. Hey guys, I gotta actually drop off. Uh, Tay Tay is currently sleeping in the car, and I gotta go pick her up and bring her in. We're gonna eat dinner here, so see you next weekend, sir. Yes. Right, well, I'll talk to you before then. But yeah, it was yeah fun true. guys. Yes, sir. And no, Michael Palmer, I was not getting yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right. I got right, you. Soon, Cincy. See, see you, man. Later, man. See ya. Whoa. Well, oh, that's that a, changed. That did change. <laughs> changed quite a bit. That was like there. That wasn't a very like subtle change. That was like a. <laughs> Whoa. So, what do you guys want to do in Texas? Though, like, have I, I think Kyle's been here, right? You've been to Austin. No, uh, I have actually never been. I think I was in a layover in Dallas once at the airport. I've actually never actually been in Texas, like actually in Texas. Okay. I've I've never been to Texas. I had plans um, this year if uh, for uh, FC Cincinnati because Austin FC starts this year. So I was planning on coming to that game, but obviously we're coming and all that stuff. Dude, honestly, I just want to hang out, man. No, exactly. For sure. Is there any like sneaker shops around there that you know of? 
Kyle, we should do some research and see if anything's like. <laughs> I want to buy some fucking shoes, dude. Or in Dallas. Um, there has to be. There, yeah, I would assume there has to be. But yeah, I don't know price wise and stuff like that. It's gonna probably be stupid. But what isn't, I guess. Right, everything's stupid at this. At this point. <clears throat> right. So you said Thursday we'll we'll get in, we'll go to your warehouse, we'll eat, we'll go to the game, and then hit up some toy shops. And then yeah, Friday we'll, probably we'll do, do like uh, some pop off and stuff. That'll be fun. Well, it depends on what time on Thursday. Yeah, y'all get in at two twenty-five. You said. Yeah, something like two twenty, two thirty, something. So like that. yeah, um, that will probably be the day because we're gonna have to be at the center at like five thirty or six o'clock. So we'll probably pick you guys up and then go to the warehouse and then go to the game because we we can eat there and all that stuff. Yeah, cool. our flight our flight gets in at two forty-five. 2.45? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Sweet. Danny says, check out Deep Ellum and head up Pecan Lodge for some insane barbecue. He is correct. <laughs> he That's is good, right. Man. Deep Ellum is kind of like our like little 6th Street, like Austin, like all the bars and clubs and or it used to be mm-hmm. until all this happened. A lot yeah. of concerts and shows. I hope good the weather's food. good. For us. Yeah, let me check on that right quick. I looked yesterday, but I can't remember. I think it was decent. Yeah, I think since he said something about it, it should be like 50s or 60s when we get here or there or something. I think he said That's something about it. Yeah, so Thursday, high is 64, the low is 41. And then, yeah, That's low something. to mid 60s the entire time. Hey, we're good. Jeans and hoodies. I'm all for that weather. There you go. Yep. So, the grassy knoll. Oh yeah, that was a thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man. That's right by the American Airlines Center too. So that's oh, nice. easy. But yeah, I wish we could do some bull riding. That would be fun. I mean, that's what you really want to do. Yeah. 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 I'm just screwing with you guys. <laughs> Last year when Ed flew in from Belgium, we told him that every Thursday in Texas you can like drink and drive. So <laughs> he totally <laughs> believed it the entire time. <laughs> like, yeah, Texas can drink and drive on Thursdays. It's fine. No, I don't <laughs> only Thursdays, though. Only right, on yeah. Thursdays. Yeah, Thirsty Thursdays, baby. Let's get it. That's fine. Oh, All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to end this. We're going to be in different time zones, too. Oh, that's going to be weird. Right. I know it's only yeah. an hour. An hour, but yeah. Communicating with Karina, because when I was in Chicago, she, she had like a real hard time, like wondering why I was out later when mm-hmm. I was really an hour behind her. I'm like, wait a minute, like the show just ended. She's like, well, it's 11 o'clock. I'm like, well, it's 10 o'clock here. I don't know what to tell you. Right. I'm not good with time zones. But, anyways, yep, time to end it. Okay. It was bad too. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, awesome. thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thank and you, um, is everybody recording next week? Absolutely. I yeah. assume. For sure. Okay. I need content. Yes, I need like ten videos out of this, guys. Uh, dude, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna try to make as much content as I can. YouTube yeah. has not been my thing lately. Yeah, dude, <laughs> it's been bad. I've done like two videos this month. No joke, dude. I have not done a video since I got the Mark eighty five hot toy in. That was a good month and a half ago. Dang. Yeah. Kyle just put one out yesterday. Kyle's put out more videos than I have in the last month. Yeah, mine are all record related. <laughs> oh, video. <laughs> So, all right, right, guys. Well, thank you, guys. Thanks for coming by, and uh, we'll see you soon. Peace, man. Later. Later, guys.